What is this torpedo-looking thing sitting within a small Greek village by the seaside? The village is Mesta, a small Greek village on the island of Chios, and the island sits near the Turkish border. I was thinking it could be some form of World War II munition. Do you have any ideas on what this could be? It's the Oropesa sweep. It was developed by the minesweeper Oropesa in 1919 and was used to clear mines laid in World War I. By the end of World War II, mine sweeping operations were absolutely necessary, as the Greek seas were literally infested with thousands of sea mines laid by both Axis and Allied forces. The wire was towed astern of the minesweeper, with a kite fitted to the wire a short distance from the point of tow to keep the wire down to a fixed depth below water. As the wire came into contact with the mine's mooring wires, they slid along it until meeting a cutter. This severed the mooring wire so that the mine floated to the surface where it was destroyed by rifle fire. What is this thing I found in France near train tracks? A metal ball is mounted on the end of a metal bar, and the metal bar has a handle at the other end. It must be about one meter or about three feet long. The guy I was with thinks that it could be a tool of some kind to look if train wheels are broken, but it's kind of heavy, and a smaller hammer could do the job. There is no indentation of any kind on the ball, only a ball. Any idea what it is? It's a loggerhead from the 18th century. These were used by shipbuilders to melt pitch. The ball was heated in the galley fire, then plunged into a bucket of pitch in order to bring the pitch to a consistency that could be poured into shipboard seams in need of caulking. Although not its intended purpose, it was also used in American taverns in the 17th and 18th centuries in the making of the then popular mixed drink flip. I am a tourist and I picked this up randomly in an antique market in the US. Who would wear this specific pin? Is this from the military? Or maybe it's just a tourist souvenir. Does anyone have an idea? It's a World War II enlisted US Air Force cap device for male officers that displays the emblem of the United States coat of arms. As of October 1st, 1997, only majors and above are required to wear the service cap. I should know, I still have one in the closet and I am sure. Someone brought this into a friend's antique shop and we're all trying to figure out what it is and what it's used for. The glass in it is curved inward on both sides and shuts together. The tag just has a price and a description of the item. The person selling it bought it at a garage sale and said they didn't even know what it was. Does anyone have a clue? That is the condenser stage from an old enlarger for printing from large format sheet film negatives. The opposed planar convex lenses help to evenly spread the light from the lamp house across the negative to be enlarged. I used to do photographic printing for a newspaper and some of the local wedding shooters back when rocks were soft. Some of the enlargers I worked with had condenser stages like this, although mine were a bit smaller. It opens up like that so that the surfaces of the lenses can be cleaned. These are dust magnets and enough dust degrades the image quality. What is this thing I found in an area of Colorado with a rich history of mining? It was in the vicinity of other random abandoned mine equipment, and I don't know what it is or what it would have been used for. I've been looking around images to try and see if I could find something similar, but to no avail. Anyone has seen such a thing? It is the remnants of a porcupine steam boiler, patented by Charles Hallett of Riverhead, New York, on April 30th, 1889. It originally had capped pipe sections coming from all of the holes and was mounted on end inside a chimney stack where it would be heated with a coal or wood fire. You can see on the end of the pipe where the steam would leave the boiler. I found this square plate with small circles on it lying in my house. They have been in my family for a long time and my parents used to use them as a trivet. I think it's made out of lead and there are two different plates, banana and cat for scale. Does anyone know what this is? You have a 1751 half daler and a 1711 two daler. The Svenska Riksdaler was the name of a Swedish coin first minted in 1604. Between 1777 and 1873, 
It was the currency of Sweden. The Deller was named after the German Thaler. It would be best to get them authenticated by someone knowledgeable if you plan to sell them. I found this in an old crumbled house, but I have no clue as to what it may be. It's from a company called Rally, and it says made in Sweden. The house belongs to an old neighbor of mine and the roof literally fell on him. So crumbled is very appropriate. The owner is like 92 and keeps all his stuff. So it may very well be incredibly old. Please help me on this mission. This is a very rare pocket mechanical razor made in Eskilstu, Sweden in the 50s. This small razor was advertised in the 1950s as a pocket-sized dry shaver that just rolls your beard away with no electricity, soap, or water. It features a slotted cylinder cutting head and two domed doors that protect the head. What is this big piece of debris drifting off the coast of the Cayman Islands, estimated at 12 by 15 feet? and perhaps a piece of an Ariane Spacer rocket. I found it four years ago and quite a lot of algae was built up. Any ideas? It looks like part of the Soyuz TM-31 launcher that was launched four years ago. The Soyuz TM-31 was the first Soyuz spaceflight to dock with the International Space Station. The spacecraft carried the members of Expedition 1, the first long duration ISS crew. It was launched from Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan at 7.52 Universal Time on October 31st, 2000 by a Soyuz U rocket. I found this hanging from the basement rafters of my 100-year-old house. It appears to be two marbles or something similar in a hanger of some sort. It can easily fit into a hand. It is not very heavy and the marbles can turn inside the frame. Anyone have a clue what this could be? It's called a Kenberry blade sharpener. They didn't work that well, so a bunch of people had them lying around and put them to different uses. The box says that it removes the deformities in the blade and really just makes it straight again. They might have been sold in the 60s as a towel holder since manufacturing equipment does get repurposed like that. What is this thing I saw at an auction? You can slide the ridged part on the longer part, but I don't know what it does. Even in the auction write-up, they say they don't know what it is. It's wood and brass, and the ridges are a little sharp. The measurements are in centimeters, I believe. Any idea what this is made for? Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.